Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it takes on average 30 months for a district court patent case to get to trial, whereas every IPR by statute has to be completed within 12 months, as has been discussed. Additionally, uh, patent litigation typically costs several million dollars to, to handle, whereas IPR costs several hundred thousand dollars. But the IPR process only assesses the validity of a patent, which means that litigants are still required to go to district court to bring an infringement action or other claim related to patents. So this means that a single patent could have to go through both the IPR and the federal district court process. So I, my question is for Ms. Ellis or Mr. Rogers, maybe both of you, do you believe this dual system works well in practice or should we consider maybe expanding the claims that can be considered via IPR? Um, I, I think, Congressman, it's an excellent point that you made. Um, we filed our case against Cisco in 2018. It's now 2022. There's likely many years ahead. Um, and when the point of a patent for a small company is to be able to break down the barriers to enter a market, well, at what point can you actually do that? Um, so for the patent owner, uh, it becomes... Uh, an exceptional existential problem if you actually intend to participate in the market. And Ms. Ms. Ellison, you have thoughts on that? So I, I don't favor expanding the bases on which IPRs can be brought. We do have PGRs that are available, of course, within a limited time period. And I think the legislation that um, led to IPRs and PGRs struck a reasonable balance in that regard between the two uh, proceedings. Sure, there can be both IPRs and district court litigation, um, but I think practitioners and parties have come to accept that. Uh, I don't think that we should get rid of the IPR or PGR system in its entirety because it serves an important function, in particular for entities that don't currently have Article III standing to appear in, in court. Very good. I, I know a big complaint that patent holders have against the IPR process is that a, opponents can file multiple petitions against the same patent. So it, it seems logical to me that once a patent has been deemed valid by PTAB, it shouldn't uh, any longer be subject to scrutiny by that board. But um, let, let me move to another subject, Mr. Uh, Pushbaraj and Mr. Bright. I wonder if you could tell me how PTAB and the IPR process either benefit or burden small businesses. I know they're, they're currently several pieces of legislation between the House and the Senate that are up for consideration. And I know one of them has been introduced by my good friend, Mr. Massey, but I, I wonder about your thoughts on that, the burdens or the benefits to small business. I've stated this before, not having a forum to be able to quickly resolve issues, especially with the numerous patents that are asserted against us by non-practicing entities, does heavily burden small businesses, the very threat of existence to small businesses, such as ourselves, tech startups, where there's you have an app, it is out there in public view, then there's 10 patents being asserted against you. And in firsthand experience, again, I've seen the presence of PTAB have an impact to the number of claims asserted against us by non-practicing entities. And that is an important effect on, on small businesses. And Mr. Bright, your thoughts? Yeah, so I'll, I'll just give a perspective from a medical device company to get a bit, you know more realistic uh, example. So um, it generally takes us uh, you know eight to ten years to get a, a product uh, to market through the FDA and and ready to be sold. Uh, it then takes generally you know another two to five years after that to even reach profitability. Um, and so uh, it takes you know tens of millions of dollars, uh, sometimes hundreds of millions of dollars, in order to get through that entire phase. And once your uh, patents are out there, uh, if somebody sees them and knows that you're working towards that goal and you are worried about the threat that they um, will be able to take out your patents and undermine your further investment in it, um, it does create a, a stress uh, in, the, in the operating environment of the company and in uh, its investors. So you do have to be quite uh, mindful and protective of it. Very good. I've only got 25 seconds left. I just want to uh, thank all the witnesses for your expertise. This is obviously a really important set of issues. Um, I'm grateful, in particular for Mr. Eisen, Mr. Massey, and, and their expertise in helping uh, our side at least guide through all this. And uh, Mr. Chairman, I thank you for your time, and I will yield back my remaining seven seconds.